Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Those are 10 big ass knives all made by cold steel. Some of them no longer available, some of them really really recent. They are all part of my collection and I will now quickly go through them and present them to you with all their advantages and disadvantages. But before we do this, I have a very very special sponsorship to announce. Yes, I actually have accepted another sponsorship and this time it is for a brand new game called Mech Arena. But now let's talk a little bit about the game itself. I installed it and I played it for a bit. It's very new so I haven't really spent a lot of hours on it. But what I've done is I've already won a few games. <laughs> well usually at this point I would really tell you what I love the most about the game and so on. But truth be told it's early days. The, the game just came out. I, I pretty much played with it for like a couple of hours because I only installed it like the day before yesterday and I have to say that you can feel that it's Plarium behind it so these guys are really pros I mean they've really balanced out the game um, it's a great mixture between lots of shooting lots of technology lots of options but I think the most important part that I really need to discover is the tactics behind it because this is not like a like a you know stupid shoot him shoot him up game you can actually team up with four other real players not bots and fight against five other real players and then you can communicate and exchange tactics you know come up with strategies how to you know win that kind of arena game and i think that makes all the difference if you just want some shooting fun it's it's going to work just fine because there's so much shooting <laughs> but on the other hand if you really want to get into it you can sort of totally make a difference practically win a game just by having the better tactics and i think that is the real specialty of this game so I guess at this point I can only invite you to discover the game with me. And it's free to play so you can get it for iPhone and Android. It doesn't cost anything and I also learned uh, that you don't have to be in the Wi-Fi to do it. So if you have a good mobile connection um, the game has been optimized for that. So it means that you don't have to be in your home. You can play it wherever you want to. And because it's early days there's tons of uh, early bird uh, awards and things that you can get at this stage if you come in early enough. Of course if you use the uh, link from the text description or the QR code and install the game that way then you get one Steel Reaper skin, 500A coins and 70,000 credits and I can already say that these credits are valuable and maybe who knows maybe we'll meet in the arena. <laughs> so what they did do is they sent me this surprise box it says uh, Mac Arena on the top and I think we should do the unboxing together so put that aside okay well then I think it's time to open this box how does it open and I think it opens like so yeah wow look at that well, that's cool isn't it <laughs> that looks actually pretty probably I can put some knives in there later on Okay, so what do we have first? So this is... Oh, it's a puzzle game. All right. 500 pieces. Yeah. So let's now put this together and uh, while I go live and entertain you for about 15 hours putting this puzzle together. <laughs> no, that was just joking. So, uh, But I think it's, it's rather cool. I mean, winter is coming quickly. So it's a good thing that I have something to, you know, to do. All right, so the next thing is this here. Okay, so this seems like it's a poster. Yeah, it's a poster and it actually gives me the score shaded area. Okay, so it's also kind of an instruction where it tells me where I get the highest scores when I hit something, okay. And then there is this here. Okay, this looks like it's extra folded. Let's open it. Very nice packaging job. Is that a book or something? Yeah. Okay. There's another slider. Okay, I can open it like this. Mac Arena is a new third person mech shooter Whoa. built from the ground up to promote friendly, competitive mobile play. It's free to play, offers multiple fast paced game modes, and focuses on 
It's very cool. It's actually a little player that has the entire welcome part. I'm not sure if I can also play back other stuff, but pretty cool. Pretty cool way to tell me something. Okay. The art of Mac Arena. Okay. Alright. So this is a little background story book. Okay. Why they tell me about things. So it's kind of a Look at that, it's like all the artworks, all the weapons and so on. Pretty cool. Okay. Okay, and the last piece that we have here, or is it the last piece? Is this here? Okay, now this looks, feels like a textile with a large coin in there. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, so first we have this really cool, you know, steel coin. And then we have a t-shirt. Yeah, you know me and t-shirts. I require really, really large t-shirts. So what is your guess? Is this one gonna fit me or no? <laughs> okay, what size does it say? It says XXXL. So in this case, there is hope. So I'll try this on and then we'll scan the cards. It looks like they really made it. They gave me a shirt that fits me. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> I have a Mac Arena t-shirt that actually suits me. I hope it's gonna survive lots of washes because I plan to wear it a lot. Okay, now it's loading. Welcome to the first biggest Mac combat sport. That's getting interesting. Find a large open space to explore the training map. Well, then I guess I have to go outside and do something there. This is actually very, very cool, because look what happens. It actually projects the entire playing field right onto my cell phone. So I can just walk and explore the entire field here. It's really a little bit like Pokemon Go. I wonder if they plan to really make it happening in a, like a virtual reality world with the artificial reality. <laughs> very cool. What a nice gift set. So Cold Steel is probably the knife manufacturer with the largest selection of really, really big knives. It's kind of their specialty, big folders. And as you see, I have plenty of them. Uh, what is really interesting is that they cover such a wide range of different models from really inexpensive and affordable. I mean, nothing super cheap. There are a quality manufacturer, but um, some of them are really expensive. So let's start from the top. This one here. <laughs> yes, this is the Bush, Pocket Bushman. Actually, it is very peculiar because at the same time it is, of course, a, an old steel knife. There's just nothing that is not made from steel here in part of this one. And um, it is actually a fairly useful knife if you look at it. It's not super comfortable to hold. But what makes it really funny is the locking mechanism because you have to pull on this rope here and then you see you pull out the lock and then you can close the Bushman. I think it is very weird and not comfortable at all. Yeah, other than that, of course, it's not a super big knife. It's the smallest of the collection. And let me look at my notes. It's also fairly affordable. It costs about 60 euros on Amazon Germany. Couldn't find it on Amazon in the US though. It's probably sold out. Anyway. The next one that I have here in my little uh, lineup is the Talvar. And this, of course, reminds you a little bit on like an oriental weapon. And um, I, I think it's really high quality. I couldn't find a price for it. It seems like it's sold out everywhere. In any case, it is a typical uh, tri air lock knife, which means that it is a back lock, but it also has like a resting pin here that uh, that really makes sure that the that the blade cannot fold back on you. So, um, and I think they've patented it. Um, it is reliable and it is always a little bit hard to press this. So, for example, my wife finds these knives terrible because she believes that it's way too hard to press on them. I think it's okay and it is actually very secure. The Talbar is nice because it has this wide blade. It's very sharp. I think it has a pleasant uh, shape. 
it is it sits well in the hand and as most of these knives you can also hold them here so for like hacking it's really practical to hold it like this here it just makes the knife longer um, so this is a knife that I really like then the next one which is the Raja 2 it's actually the largest of the Raja knives and what this is this is really a Kukuri knife. It's actually a, a pocket, a folding Kukuri. I really like it. It's one of my favorite knives from this lineup here because it has a fairly beefy handle. You can also hold it like here, like so, so you can really hack with it. That is really super nice. It's a it's a triad lock, so it's a really strong knife. But look how thick the blade is. This is really sturdy. I, I really love it. Very sharp. I once even shaved with it. <laughs> and then weaponized the beard. <laughs> Um, and uh, I, I just think this is a great, great knife. It's not really inexpensive. I think it costs around 185 euros in Germany and about 107 dollars in the US. Don't forget that in the US prices are without uh, without any taxes, where in Germany the 19% value added tax is already included in the price. So, one of my favorites. Which brings me to the next one, which is actually a fairly new one in my collection. This is actually the big Luzon with the large, with the long blade. And it is, it is a cheaper model. I think the Luzon costs around 65 euros. And in the US you can get it even cheaper. Although I couldn't find the 6 inch blade one, only the 4 inch blade one. In any case, so it's an affordable knife. It still is well made. It has a nice handle. I really like it. I think the blade with the fuller here looks really mean. I like this kind of, uh, you know, Bowie knife uh, style. And I also not like it that the blade has these uh, protectors, these this, this guides here. Uh, but it, but it didn't. It, it's not a triad lock. It is a classical uh, liner lock, which is fine with me. What I really like on this knife is that it has a safety. So this means that you have this little slider here. When you slide it up, it actually locks the uh, the liner lock, so you cannot unlock the knife, and uh, that I really like. It would probably not be as sturdy as the triad lock knives, but on the other hand, it's very sharp, very nice knife, and for that price, I think it's really a major steal. All right, the next one is actually three different ones that are pretty much alike. This is the Voyager style, and the Voyager knives come, they, it comes in different versions. They're all around 100 euros, I think. Yeah, 113 euros, maybe 100 dollars, something like this. So this is one with the uh, kind of uh, waveform uh, blade, and it's also a serrated uh, blade. This actually has been given to me by Lynn Thompson uh, at an EVA show as a present, so thanks for this. I gave him slingshots in return though. And this is the one that I actually prefer because it has the Bowie style blade and it also has a plain edge, which I like because you can actually sharpen it. They all have the triad lock, so very sturdy locks. They're fairly lightweight because of the uh, plastic handle. Um, those are really good knives for EDC. They're great where it's legal. Now this one here is also called a, it's also from the Voyager series, but this is actually one that is called Gunsmith. So this is the Gunsight, not Gunsmith, Gunsight version. And this is because Cold Steel actually did this kind of deal with uh, several of the, uh, the Gunsights. Um, and so um, they just made these things specifically for them. So you could only buy this at the gun store that was a part of a shooting range. This actually I bought in Las Vegas when I visited one of their shooting ranges where you can't shoot full auto guns all day long. All you have to do is you have to uh, buy the ammo. And I spent a fortune on ammo, but I shot so many great guns in full auto, just into a pile of dirt, but it was really fun. Now this, this also has a story behind it, because when I bought it, I was jet lagged, so I bought some beer and decided to call it an early night and went to my hotel room and drank the beer, watched some television and played with this knife while I did this. And this knife is so wicked sharp that I cut myself in the finger so hard that I actually had to wrap toilet paper around it and then go down and find someone who would sell me some bandages. <laughs> so this tasted my blood for good. It's really a sharp knife. It's hollow ground, the blade. 
and I actually like it very much. It's the Tanto blade style, so this is one of my favorites too. And it has a history. All right, which brings us to this baby here. This is actually a holdout, a holdout three. Um, the holdout comes in all different sizes, so you can get it from really short to all the medium sizes, uh, all the way up to this one here. Now, can you hear the motorbike guys? It's so loud. I mean, one of these days they're going to make it illegal to drive through the countryside with the motorbikes that loud. Mind you, this is like 500 yards away from my house, and they're still that loud. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, this knife actually, I think it has a really mean blade design. It's a serrated edge, it's really mean. Of course, the handle doesn't give you this kind of protection like the Luzon, where you have a, a hand guard built in. But that actually is not so bad because of the shape of the handle. It actually makes it very, and it's also really like structured, so it makes it almost impossible for you to slide. Um, it doesn't have a trite lock, so it's a very strong knife. Um, I like it because of the classic design and everything, so nice one. The next one is this one. It's actually the tie light in the 6 inch version. Now the tie light is really like a stiletto, like a classic stiletto that you would find like in Italy, uh, very classical. Um, you see the thin blade, it's really mean, long, long, long knife. I really like it. Um, from its price, it is uh, not cheap. This one is around 104 euros, um, and probably a little cheaper in the US. I couldn't find it in the US, really. In any case, it does not have a triad lock, but what it does have is a, it has a liner lock. Now, the liner lock is fairly weak. It's not nearly as sturdy as the one that you find on the Luzon, even though the Luzon is much cheaper. Um, you see, it's really made from like thin steel. And um, therefore, and it's also kind of hard to press because the uh, this little, you know, shape here is really actually a little bit small for my thumb. It is possible to do it, but it's not pleasant. So, um, yeah, from the ergonomic point of view, this is not one of my favorites, but it looks so mean. <laughs> All right, this brings us to the last one in the lineup, and that is my absolute favorite. This is the one I like the most. It's the Xpada XL. Now that is a folding knife. Look at that. I love the design. It also comes in a G10 version, which is a lot cheaper. But I prefer this one here. Look how thick everything is. How shiny it is. Uh, very strong uh, triad lock, of course. And it's even flat enough to fit in your pocket without being a, a you know clumsy piece of equipment. It's actually quite comfortable. Uh, precision in everything like the axis and also I like the shape of the handle because if you hold it like this here you have like this pistol trigger thing so you can really really smash things up with this knife I really like it it's one of my all-time favorites so how do these compare to my own knives the folding Ulfbeard that I designed and successfully introduced into the market I mean I had 2,000 pieces made 1800 in D2 and uh, 200 in S9TV steel and they were sold out like within 24 hours <laughs> so I sold knives worth uh, 300,000 euros within 24 hours I must be some kind of salesman right <laughs> now, now uh, truth be told it took me a long time to arrive at the final design and the knives that I have here actually are a piece of nice his knife history because this was actually the first sample that they sent me looks much like the final one but the difference is that the boards here are fairly thin so so I had them making them thicker so that the knife would be more durable and uh, would take more abuse and um, eventually they sent me this one and this one is actually so thick and so heavy that I had to reject it simply because it would have been too heavy and too big for most people so then we kind of settled for a compromise between this one and this one and, and that really uh, was a hit it was the one that finally made it into the mass production so this is the only one with the super super thick handles and i'm sure that anyone who uh, inherits this from me someday hopefully not soon will find it really valuable because it's a one of a kind piece and i will not separate because i actually like that it's so heavy and so super sturdy but if I compare it to the cold steel knives, of course, you can see that their 
you know, like if I take the gunsmith, uh, the gun side knife, the blade length is about the same. This one is actually a little longer. So, and some of the blades are much longer, like the Talwar, as you see, is really longer. Not super much, you know, it's about an inch longer or something. But of course, this knife is much more sturdy. The blade is a lot thicker. It has this long fuller. So, um, and also, um, you can definitely see that it also has a quite sh a short overall length. So if I close like the Tolva here, you can see that in closed condition, this is a big difference. So this actually is a much smaller, much shorter knife than this one. Although, of course, it is a lot heavier. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a, a knife maniac. I love them all. But actually, this one is still my all-time favorite. <laughs> Hope you like this. In any case, but before you go, please, 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 test Mac Arena. Just give it a try. The uh, download links are below, or you can also use uh, the QR code. And uh, I promise you won't be disappointed because it's pure shooting fun. And of course, my sponsor will also be thrilled if this will be successful for them. Don't forget that they made it possible that I can buy all these toys and in turn show them to you. So, hope you like this. That's it for today. Thanks and bye-bye.